Coming up... He's painted a target on your backs. James's big decision... If we dip below the yellow line, it's my fault. ...begins to weigh him down. Ooh, it's a temptation you play, you play! Come on! ...as he agonises over his future. 30 grand is not going to buy your way out of a box, mate. And... <laughs> ...there's no pulling the wall. Off of the sheep, you go for you, mate! <laughs> ...when we sort the sheep from the goats... <laughs> ...in a big Aussie farming challenge. They're bloody lucky they taste good because they're so stupid. <laughs> Congratulations, James. You are the winner of today's Temptation and the $30,000 in gold bullion. Thank you very much. But, James, to keep the money, you'll have to leave Camp Biggest Loser forever. And if you do decide to take the money, it will also be deducted from the $250,000 in prize money. <laughs> so I'm not just screwing myself, I'm screwing everyone. But you have another option. Reject the money and you will be rewarded. Rewarded with immunity. <laughs> it's messed up either way, man. Uh, it, it knocked me for six. You know what, $30,000 is a lot of money. I really had no idea what I'm gonna do. And whether or not I continue on and take a risk or you know, whether I leave with $30,000 and take a risk, you know, thinking that I can make it on the outside. James, this is obviously a decision not to be taken lightly, so I'm going to wait until weigh-in to get your answer. But, James, to keep your mind focused on your decision, your temptation will be going everywhere with you. <laughs> it will be handcuffed to your wrist. <laughs> I can't believe that James looked so shocked when there was a catch. Nothing since day one has been easy in this house. And I can't believe he thought he would be able to walk out of this competition with $30,000 in his back pocket. James, come on up and get your gold. <laughs> Just a reminder, I'm going to need your decision by weigh-in. I'm sure your decision is going to weigh heavily on your mind and your wrist. James has put our team at risk by taking temptation. If he doesn't work off the 960 calories, we fall below the yellow line. If James takes the money, he's going to leave our team one person down. Yet again, something that could splinter us. This could break our team apart. I just don't think he thought it through. I think he saw the $30,000 and went, well, I could use that. But he hasn't thought of the consequences. So I walk into the room, and I can tell that my boys have been talking about me and about the issue. It was just a real tense moment. I'm really, really disappointed in today. Okay. Really disappointed. Ha <laughs> ha. I heard disappointed, and I don't like the look at that. I've seen that before. All right, boys. Tell me a story. I can see what's happened here by the look in your eyes already. Today, we had another temptation. It wasn't for immunity, but for $30,000 cash. Only two people played out of the 15, me and Lisa. Lisa consumed 77 cal, and I consumed 960. But there is a catch. <laughs> there always is, mate. I had two options. The first one was to take the money and leave, and the, game. leave the game. Russ, we've been there before. The second option was to leave the money and have immunity for this week. Uh, they've given me to weigh in to decide. He's painted a target on our backs. People are going to see that obviously it doesn't matter within the blue team if you take temptation or not. I felt that James was being very selfish. He had no consideration for his team. He didn't want to be part of our team. 
Can you honestly look at me and tell me that you thought about either three of us about what was going to happen after you took that 30,000? Whatever decision he makes, if he decides to take 30 grand and walk home on weigh-in day and we fall below the, the line, we go up for elimination as well, two of your members could be gone home because of the decision that he made today. At the end of the day, we've got to think about four people, five people, and that wasn't done today. If we dip below the yellow line as a team, it's my fault. And I was more than willing to take the consequences for that. Yes, it was a selfish decision, man. Yes, it was a decision that was thought mainly by me yeah. to make sure that I don't go under, so to make sure that I can pay some rent. Luke, mm -hmm. how many parents you got? Two. You got a good house to go back to? Yeah. If things go wrong at work, you get sacked, your mum and dad got your back? Yeah. How many parents you got, mate? Two. What happens if it hits the fan? Where do you go? Mum and dad. How many parents you got? No. $30,000 is a lot of money, but to some people, it's a hell of a lot more. James lost his mother when he was six, and his father died in front of him when he was 13. I understand why $30,000 would be a temptation for him. Who's got your back if you make a bad decision? Mate, I don't want to rely on anyone. That's it. Luke, you're still shaking your head, mate. It's eating you, I can see it. It is. How come? You've got to let go, you've got to trust me. No. You've got it, nah. Not, not yeah, yeah, nah. You've got to step out of where you are, mate, and from your eyes, Part of your journey is going to be learning empathy, to look through other people's eyes and realise that other people don't see actually what you see and feel what you feel. I don't agree with it. You know how I feel about it, but I can see why. You've got to let it go. One thing I know is emotional baggage, animosity and angst always shows up on the scales, I bloody guarantee it. Boys too, same boat, time to move forward. Shake hands. Look him in the eye. All right, let's go and train. So Shannon takes us up to the yard. It's absolutely bucking him down, which kind of matches the mood of the blue team at the moment. But there's only one thing we can do, and let's get straight into it. Go. Oh, come on. Six. Ah. Seven. Ah. The training today was a high-intensity circuit. Designed to let the boys burn off their frustration. Frustration out. Clean your head, good boy. Come on. You want to get that frustration out? Here's the place. Come on, go. I need to let out a lot. Go. I was at breaking point. Atta boy. I still had a lot of anger for James. I knew that I had to get my aggression out. OK, let's go. Four. Four. Two. Show me frustration. Show me frustration. Four. Show me the come on. He's out of control, you see? Your punches are getting softer because you're getting angrier. Clear your mind. Luke okay. needs to learn to control his anger. In a boxing ring, if you let anger burn, you're going to get knocked out. You need to use that energy and convert the negativity to controlled aggression. Focus. Focus your energy. Snap. See the difference? Snap. Right. Let it go, mate. Stays in here today. Nothing comes out of this room. Luke was far more controlled in his boxing. His punches were crisper, and the angry look was washed off his face. Points proven, Lukey. Don't let that money weigh you down, Jimmy. Come on. There's 30 grand in that case. Don't you let it weigh you down in training. Go. Even though James had a briefcase with $30,000 chained to his wrist, it was weighing far more heavily on him mentally. That case is weighing you down, mate. How does it feel? What's in there? It's so awkward, man. What are you gonna do? It's gonna take the money. What? It's got rent to pay. Yeah? This is a yeah. real world out there, man. It is. It is a real world out there. You take that 30 grand, what changes? What real world do you go back to? Nothing's changed in your life. Your sister's scared she's gonna have to put you in a box. 30 grand is not gonna buy your way out of a box, mate. It's not from lack of money you got like this. There's plenty of money to buy takeaway in that. And, mate, I've got big flashbacks. Exactly 12 months ago, when Lee, who was 22 years of age, a little bit like you, who turned down 25 grand, I've decided to take the money and put it back into the competition. <laughs> and his family went on to win the big case. <laughs> 
from day one, I said my focus was to put that family on the podium. I'll support James either way. He needs to know that I believe in him. I believe he's capable of way more than taking 30 grand and running. It's your decision, mate. I understand. You know how I feel about it. I spoke to you up there. But one thing you need to know is I believe in you. I believe in Jimmy. I believe in this. And I believe in this. And maybe that's something you haven't had. Someone to stand behind you and go, mate, I believe in you. Nothing's going to change, mate. There's a big bad word out there. The 30 grand will pay your rent for a year. And your sister's going to have the same conversation in 18 months about putting you in a box. After talking to Shannon, the certainty that I used to have is no longer there. This decision really is that kind of crossroads moment. Don't take shortcuts, mate. You're not going to learn anything about yourself. Earn 30 grand. See how much more you respect it. Change your life. Give yourself a long, healthy and happy life. I've got such a huge decision ahead of me. Coming up. If someone goes into temptation in the red team, you all take the hit. The four. <laughs> An all Aussie oh. challenge teaches the contestants a lesson. Don't oh. be serious. OK, so just before we get started, what's been going on? What's happened today? Oh. Um, we had temptation today. The person that went in and ate the most calories could win $30,000. <sighs> I took temptation. What? Ate 70 calories. Um, Why did you take temptation? The money um, was a big factor and my boys said to me, have a go. Have a go at what? At if there was any money up for grabs, have a go. I can understand the reasons that Lisa gave. Lisa has devoted her life to her children. As a single parent, of course, it's a natural thing to do. But now, Lisa's life is at stake here. So, no, there won't be any gambling today. So what'd you have? Ah, oh, the old chocolate. That's right. Issue. Lisa's arch nemesis is chocolate. It's what she's virtually lived on for the last 20 odd years. The wheels could easily come unstuck with her and chocolate. How do you girls feel about that? I'm okay with it. Okay. I'm not in Lisa's personal situation, a single mother with two children, so I can't judge her for that choice. Fair enough. Maggie? I don't begrudge Lisa at all. I mean, like Brenna said, she's a single mum with two children. You know, she works hard. You know, she's got to get ahead. Yeah. And I don't, I don't blame her whatsoever for her entertaining that idea. It seems as though these ladies have always got each other's backs, which is important. But the rules are, if you play, the rest of the team pays as well. OK, ladies, yeah. let's go. Cadence to 100 right now. If someone goes into temptation in the red team, whatever they eat, Everyone burns it off together. You all take the hit. That's the rules. Big turns, heavy turns, up into a hill climb. Go, don't give up, don't give up. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Have a seat, resistance off. That spin bike session just killed me. So I think I've learnt my lesson and I don't think temptation is worth that much pain. Hello. Gentlemen. Oh. I have the over 30 men's team. Each of the boys have an injury. Dad's army walking wounded. <laughs> Not doing better. Alex, Achilles, Simon, hamstring, Graham, shoulder, Shane, quad. Now our training is limited because of the injuries, but what we can make sure is on the ball is our nutrition. If we're not controlling that one controllable that we have, our nutrition, when you stand up on those scales, guess what's going to be running down your cheeks? Tears. Because you haven't done everything that you can do. For my guys, they need to think of food as fuel. Up until this point in life, food has been about convenience, just eating the things that taste good, easy to prepare. I wanted these boys to prepare the quick and easy meal that I had down in my nutritional plan. Chicken salad. So what I need is 90 grams of chicken breast, 
mixed lettuce, a cup of tomato, one large cucumber, and three tablespoons of avocado. What do you reckon, boys? Lunch. That lunch was certainly different. I mean, I'm not a rabbit. I don't know how he can do it. That much lettuce, oof, that's what scares me the most. You're shaking your head, Shane? That scares the crap out of me eating do you remember? Much. Do you remember when I said you're going to have to start getting used to eating yeah. rabbit food? You know, look at me, look at you, and this is how I eat. And there's by no means am I overweight. I know this might be hard. We need to work towards it. This surface looks very much like those scales that you stand up on each and every week. Remind yourselves of that and remind yourself of that yellow line. Make sure this is adhered to. Now that they have the right information, there is no reason why they can't pull good numbers and stay above the yellow line. Uh, uh, uh. Coming up... They're bloody lucky they taste good because they're so goddamn stupid. The contestants meet their match. Uh. <laughs> at a sheep station, but it was bucketing down. It just had to rain, didn't it? It just had to rain today. I was looking for the commando, actually. He loves the rain. Hi, everyone. Hi. Well, it doesn't get more Australian than this out on the land. How about the weather, guys? Yeah, Pretty weather. nice. <laughs> You didn't think we were going to make it easy for you today, did you? <laughs> Today's challenge is going to test you individually and as a team. You're going to need qualities such as speed and stamina, but more importantly, patience. Lots and lots of patience. <laughs> Why? Because today, you're going to need to chase, catch and pen some very nervous sheep. <laughs> oh, <no>. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. I like animals, but uh, mostly on my plate. I'm not the most patient person in the world, so this should be interesting. Want to see how it's done? Yep. Yeah, yep. Please. <laughs> oh, no. That looks so easy. Oh, the dog. Look at that. Oh. 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 Fantastic. The dog made it look really easy. The dog made it look so good. And we're just thinking, yeah, we could do this. Uh, no problems, right? Looks easy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but guys, unfortunately, there won't be any sheep dogs helping you today. <laughs> You're going to have to work as a team if you want to get through this challenge. Yeah. Yeah. This is how the challenge will work. Two teams will go head to head in a race to herd and pen seven sheep each. If after 20 minutes, neither team has penned seven sheep, the team with the most sheep penned will win. Under 30 women, you'll go up against the over 30 women in the first heat. Oh, oh, Gagel! Wow. Gagel. Go. Go. Under 30 men, you'll go up against the over 30 men in the second heat. <laughs> the winner of each heat will go head to head in the final. So, want to know what you're playing for? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, for a challenge this big comes a sizeable reward. The winning team of today's challenge will take a two kilogram weight advantage into the next weigh-in. <sighs> Worth playing for? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Lydia, how are you feeling about today's challenge, I'm being a country girl? I'm very happy about today's challenge, <laughs> Hayley. Yep. Very happy. Have you herded some sheep before in your time? I may have touched one or two sheep before in my time, Hayley, yes. <laughs> Excellent. 
And Casey, how about you? I have nothing to do with sheep. Um, my thing is chasing cows, so okay. we'll give it a go. And Graham, how are you feeling about today's challenge? Good. I've done it plenty of times before, Hayley, so... You've got an injured arm. Do you think you can do it? Yes, I can, Hayley. I don't need my arm to round up sheep. Sheep herding wasn't so much a challenge because I've done it. Oh, I've lost track how many times I've done it over the years, so this should be suited to me, and hopefully I'll lead by example with my teammates. And James, can't leave you out. How's that briefcase going since temptation? Yeah, this is going to be an interesting time. Well, James, I don't want you to forget about the decision that you're going to have to make at weigh in. So today you must compete with the briefcase on. Is that okay? Sure, why not? As the white team is only a team of three, black, red, and blue teams, you need to choose one person who's going to sit out today's challenge. I'll give you a moment to decide. <laughs> I want to sit out. Kind of I'm pretty sure Hayley didn't even finish speaking before Ryan had put his hand up to sit out. Huh? That's going to involve a long time on your feet, running and moving. You guys move a lot freer than I do. OK, guys, I need your decision. I don't maybe you right, if you want to sit out, man, I'll take it. Cool. Blue team, who will you be sitting out of today's challenge? I'll be sitting out of the challenge today. With James carrying the case around chasing sheep, it doesn't make sense. Ryan should have been out there helping us today. Okay. And red team? Hayley, I'll be sitting out today. Hey, Renda. And black team? Uh, Hayley, I'll be sitting out today. Well, guys, let's get this challenge underway. Red and white team, you'll be up first. Yeah. Best of luck. Yeah! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God. Team. The first team to get seven sheep in their pen wins. On your marks, set, go. After we were explained the safety program for the sheep, I was pretty aware of what I was doing. As long as it's safe herding, it's all good. I'm paragon for the sheep. <laughs> Come on, girls. Go, on, sheep. Well, you can't really create a strategy when trying to catch sheep because it's impossible. No, Michelle, you, I'm sorry. We we're trying to get them to run across. Oh, really? I'm oh, sorry. Our team went in with a bit of a strategy. Oh, oh nice. You tried to tackle one. one. <laughs> the strategy that we had today was to herd them into the corner calmly so Lydia could pounce. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Got it. this? Come on. Come on! Here! Come on, Come on sheep! Come on, on Maggie! Come on! The hardest bit about herding the sheep was actually getting the sheep back to the pen. Come on! Come on! Come on! Maggie's not letting go of that sheep! Right. They weren't very willing participants. <laughs> 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 Listen, straight there. <laughs> Today was an all Aussie challenge, sheep herding. The winning team will take a two kilo advantage into weigh in, which is a huge incentive. Come on, come on, come on. Mark, he's not letting go of that sheep. <laughs> the most difficult part of the whole thing was actually bringing it back to the pen because they just didn't want to budge. <laughs> Come on. Listen. Straight there. <laughs> I was so determined, and I was holding on for dear life. I was determined to get them in that pen. It was very slippery, so it was very difficult to control the sheep. Slow and steady was definitely the way to go. Great job, Red Team! Woo! First sheep in the pen! Oh, go, Lydia! Go, Lydia! Go, Lydia! I need help! Oh. <laughs> It was freezing cold, the rain was blowing in our face, you could hardly see, and it stank. Those sheep were so dirty and nasty. Go on! Sheep, I think, are the most stubbornest animals ever. Ah. Those sneaky little buggers, it's really difficult. Stop! Ah. Come on. Come on. 
watching on, I think the white girls seem to not have much of a plan. They kind of were all over the place. Come on. Oh, 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 that close. So close. That close. Let them bunch up. Let them bunch up and let them settle. Lydia's amazing. She knows how to deal with animals. She's been around animals all her life. Mark, you come back a bit. Just stay there. Stay there, let them settle. Look at that, Lydia, the sheep whisperer. <laughs> She's got them all in one corner. <laughs> got it. Got it? Yeah. Here they go. Oh, 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 they got one. <laughs> Guys, we've got to get another one. Yeah. My goodness, Lydia, she was an absolute workhorse. Here, I'll get the sheep. You guys go. OK. You guys go home. Oh, open the gate. Oh, I got the gate. I got the gate. Bring this one round. And that's three sheep to the red. Well done, girls. Go, Lydia! Girls, we're now at the halfway mark. We've got three sheep for the red and one for the white. Try not to let them break off. Our strategy went so out the window. <laughs> we thought it was going to be easy that we could control the little sheep in groups and that they would follow our instructions. <laughs> but that was not the case. So basically, we had no strategy. Uh, 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 uh. Make noise. They're bloody lucky they taste good because they're so goddamn stupid. Woo! the gate because they were trying to herd some more sheep into our pen. On the go! Michelle, I'll go run past, jump in and block. Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Great. We have just lost our only sheep. And much to our surprise, the Red Girls now have five oh. sheep. Red team, congratulations. You're now on five. Unfortunately, why you've lost yours. <laughs> At that stage, you were like, oh, well, let's just have fun for the last few minutes. <laughs> so we just leave it open and just try to get him yeah. in? <laughs> just leave it open, fully open. Leave it open. Nice. Oh. Okay, red and white team, 60 seconds to go. Make it count. Ready? Come on, Ready? Oh, yes. Well done, girls. Oh. 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 Stupid sheep. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations! <laughs>
It was great to manage to get six in to win that round because I wanted to drive home to the other teams that they were going to work hard to be able to get alongside us in the final. OK, guys, heat two, blue versus black. The first team to pen seven sheep will go through to the third and final round. Good luck. We spoke about our tactics before we started. As a team, we had to get behind the sheep and catch it from behind. Nice and, nice and easy, guys. Nice and easy. So when I spoke to the boys about it and told them that this is how we need to do it, I was quite confident that we could get over the line. Hamish, come up this side, dude. Hamish, come up this side. Come on, guys. All three of us need to go for one sheep. We did have a strategy going into it. Go on. No, no. Cut this off. Go cut on, this off. On. Cut this off. Cut this off. Come on. But we kind of threw that strategy out the window. Let's go. Let's start with this one. Hey, 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 hey. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Cut. 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 So the rules are simple for this week's challenge. It was get those sheep into that pen. If you can get seven in before 20 minutes, you win. Or it's the most in 20 minutes. Let's go. Let's start with this one. Hey, 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 hey. No, no. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Come on, guys! Come on, guys! There's going to be a huge test for the blue team today. We do have to work as a team. This will prove to us at the end of it, I'll be able to turn around and say, yes, we have come together as a team, or no, we haven't. Games, 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 <laughs> it makes him look like he's an accountant dropped in the middle of a farm, and the farmer's going, you know what, I don't need my accountant's done today. Can you go catch me some sheep? So we've got to get one out of this. Come on. Come on, Blake, let's go! I've done it all my life, so I was trying to lead by example. I was trying for us to keep in an umbrella and try to slowly bring him around. It didn't work like that. <laughs> We're gonna, I think we're going to have to go for the other way and actually pen them and grab them. Well, I can't. Yeah, I was very restricted today because of my shoulder. It's very hard to catch a sheep with one end. It's hard enough with two, let alone one. It's just, you just got to get the timing spot on. Yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. Sorry. Well done. Go, Black! Well done, Craig. Go, Black! Good job. The one armed sheep wrangler. Unbelievable. That's it, Black Team! Come on, Black! Come on, keep going! You go the game, go the game. Go the game. Come on, Black! Go the game! You got the game? Yeah! Black Team, that's one sheep pen. Well done. Good work, boys! Guys, you've got 15 minutes left. Chase, chase, chase! So part way through the challenge, I changed my tactics. Because I had no support from my team. So it was going to be an individual approach. Can't run, dude. Can't run. <laughs> to be quite honest, Luke uh, got in our way a couple of times. He got a bit enthusiastic. You can't run, dude. <laughs> <laughs> run. Get the go. I'll get the go. Stay there, Shane. Hey, hey, over there. Look at oh. 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 Black team, you just lost your one and only sheep. Bad luck. I jumped the bloody thing. <laughs> Jump! Come on, boys, keep it on. You're coming up to ten minutes. Small one, small one. Oh! Beautiful! Yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Got him! Careful, guys. Careful. Get us back, Lee. What is James going to do with his cake? <laughs> oh, no! 
Hello, What's Hamish doing? <laughs> Hamish! Hamish! Get a hand on him. Get a hand on him. You're not on my first date, mate! <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty excited knowing that if I get this sheep into the pen, that this is 1-0. It's, it's going to be an awesome feeling to be one up. Woo! So to get it in through that gate and close that gate behind that first sheet, was, it was a big moment. Blue team, you're in front with one sheet. Let it go, team! Three men in a briefcase, you can do it. <laughs> Ten minutes to go. Go, Simon! Go, Simon! Go, Blake! Climb in the pen! Nice and calm, nice and calm. Don't make eye contact. Oh! 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 <laughs> Put it on me, serious! Idiot! It's an embarrassing thing to be outsmarted by sheep. Blue team, you just lost your one and only sheep, so you're down to none. You idiot. All that hard work was, was gone within a split second for the blue team to win and get the morale back up in the blue team is what is important to us today. We need the win. Heat two, it's black team against the blue team. It was game on. The angry eyes were there. Black team, congratulations. You're back to one sheet pen. One nil to us. Feeling pretty confident, but we needed to get another one to give us some room. Come on, Luke. Luke. Stay calm. Luke, just softly, softly. Softly, softly. Ah, uh, look, the blue team had no technique because they're just not a cohesive team. Nah, you won't get them. Hold them. Boys, work Come on the team and corner them together. Hamish! Hey, Hamish, hey, you've got to work with me. <laughs> <laughs> the blue team for most of the challenge from where I sat in the grandstand looked like there were three people in three different areas of the field. <laughs> oh! And that didn't help us at all. Go, Hamish! Go, Hamish! Come on! Get one, Hamish! Come on! <laughs> Come on, Hamish! 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 Boys, you've got five minutes to go. Black team with one sheep penned. Blue team with none. Let's go. Come on, Black team. Come on, That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go, Black. Come on. Go, Simon. Go, Ryan. Get him in. Get him in. Simon had to be the standout today. Oh, nice one, Go. Simon! Go, Simon! Yeah, Simon! Good day. Good job, Simon! Go, Simon! Go, Team Black! Good job! Come on, boys! Go, Simon! Black team was struggling at first, and I thought we had it up on them. I thought, here we go, we've, we've got a challenge one here. So to Get see black team start herding a few in, it was very disappointing. Come on, 45 seconds! Oh. Bang! Got him, got him, got him. Nice. Well done, man. Well done. Good job. 30 seconds. Go, guys. It's one, right? That's it. There you go, there you go, you're right. 25 seconds, guys. Come on, guys. Good job. Good job. Nice. Nice. I got it. Congratulations, blue team. You've got one sheep. Black, you've got three sheep pants. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, black team. You are the winners of Heat 2, so you'll be going up against the red team in the final. Well done.
The old dogs keep beating the young pups. Uh, we've been around a lot longer than them. They've got a lot of cracks in their team. But uh, these old dogs, we can teach new tricks. Go on, brother. Good job. Today has just proved that the blue team is a group of four individuals wanting to win this competition. We're not a team. Red and black team, congratulations for making it through to the final. Thank you. Thanks, Ailey. Just a reminder, the winner of this challenge will win a two kilogram weight advantage going into the next weigh-in. Beautiful. Black team, how are you feeling? You a bit scared? Nah, not scared, but... <laughs> you should be. As long as Shane doesn't start whistling. <laughs> <laughs> Game on, guys. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Yeah. I was quietly nervous. Um, I saw how strong they were in their first heat. We were determined, very determined, to go and win the next round. And uh, we all believe we could. Good luck, red and black teams. Take your marks. Go, black. Go, red team. Go, boys. Group hug, guys. Oh. First of all, we had to have a bit of a group hug. Just a bit of respect for each other. Good luck, have fun and good luck. Whoever wins, it doesn't matter. Good luck. After that, down to business. Two kilos up for offer for the weigh-in. Need it. Everyone does. Game on.